It gets worse. It this. gets worse. Oh my god. Stab me in the fucking heart. Oh. Hello, hi everyone, and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram, and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the most awkward, horrible, traumatizing DIY skincare videos. But I am not doing it alone. This video is a collaboration with James Welsh. Now, I wasn't able to fly over to the UK where he lives, but we decided to do a collaboration for this video, and I was so, so excited because you guys have no idea how long I've watched watched James Welsh, how long I have looked up to him. As the first male skincare YouTuber and we set it up, I was so excited. And as soon as his Skype camera came on, my brain died. And I was really awkward and nervous and intimidating. We also filmed another reaction video on his channel where we reacted to skincare TikTok. So if you guys want to see that, I will also link it in the description box below. Feel free to go watch it. You guys will enjoy James's superior editing skills as opposed to my ratchet ones. <laughs> but please make sure to go over and subscribe to James's YouTube channel. I have linked it in the description box below. And yeah, let's get into it. Hey James, say hi. Hello everyone. The wonderful James Walsh, everyone. Bravo, bravo, applause, applause. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on to my channel. Honestly, I'm so excited for this collaboration. Thank you for having me. This has been a long time coming and I'm glad we actually a finally get time. to kind of meet in real life. The closest <laughs> we can. Yeah. But I do have to say like, it's so cool getting to this point because I can't tell you how many comments I've received on my videos. So many of you guys like saying, I found you through James Welsh. I absolutely love James Welsh and that's how I discovered you. I get the amazing. same, like I found you through Hiram, like you and Hiram should collab. Oh, that's like, so cool. I don't know if we actually know we live in different countries. Trees. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I know, right? I feel like a lot of people can just kind of think we're like next door neighbors and I'm like, hey, let me just yeah. head over to your house. I know you've invited me on your channel, but I have some stuff that I think is going to ruin your day today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take much, but I'm sure you it have doesn't take much. enough content to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the first time we've talked like face to face. Yes. It's a little weird. You know, it's funny because when people come up to you in public and they're like, oh, I'm meeting my, like, it's so weird to meet a YouTuber in person. I'm like, I've never experienced that before. So now I'm like getting to talk yeah, to someone. Yeah, me like, neither. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, listen, Hiram, I have been um, loving your videos, your reaction videos. Thank and you. my goal today, not like not to be horrible, but I love it when you get angry like <laughs> your face when you get pissed off is the best oh my thing God. and it is my goal today to make you really fucking annoyed <laughs> okay we'll see honestly it does not even take that much i'm sure you know someone just has to take a coffee scrub and i'm like instantly enraged i'm glad you said that let's start with number one. <laughs> oh no you're killing me here we go i'm so scared for what this is gonna hold oh stephanie's hiding from some aggressive boyfriends, maybe? No, she's just running to the bathroom before anyone can see her pimples. <laughs> and there's something waiting to help her already. An anti-acne box. Oh, Glue a mirror to the inside of a lunchbox mm -hmm. lid. Okay, that's cute. Attach small I like rubber that. bands under the mirror. It's cute but it's gonna yeah. get less cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Insert a toothbrush into it. Why, why a toothbrush for acne? Mix a spoon of oh. salt with mint toothpaste. Oh my God, not, oh my God, not mint toothpaste. <laughs> why is that such a popular trick? I don't understand. Put the it's mixture the into thing. one lunchbox cell. Oh my God. Put dry paper towels next to that it. tissue. Glue a printed label that says that anti dry acne tissue. box to you the lid. You wait to see what she does. Oh my god. It's so that annoying. Is false advertisement. Stephanie applies the toothpaste <laughs> onto her problem regions. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why a toothbrush? It easily removes the toothpaste with a paper towel. Uh, no this... more acne. Th that cannot be. It... Are they serious? Just putting the toothbrush with... Yeah, oh, so this was courtesy oh, of Troom Troom, oh, who okay. I think people have asked us to review before. How did you feel about um, the whole everything? First of all, um, mint toothpaste. Toothpaste is not fucking formulated for your face. I don't know why people feel the need to use all these random items and feel like they're appropriate to use for the skin. Hello, let alone mm -hmm. the mint, which would be extremely irritating. I feel like there's so many components of a mint toothpaste that are highly irritating to the skin. I don't know why that took yeah. off. But I think even more so than that, mixing it and putting it in the lunchbox for bacteria <laughs> to just thrive. 
five. That is asking for mold to grow. <laughs> what the f is, is wrong with people? On acne. <laughs> the worst, oh my the goodness! Wow. I actually like the look of the toothpaste for my mouth. Like I've never seen toothpaste like that before. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's very yeah. aesthetic, like very pretty. One thing that really bothers me about toothpaste, I've actually talked about this on my channel before, yes. is um, there's an ingredient ingredient in it called triclosan. It's the thing they're taking out of like Dove soap because it can like cause cancer because it did it in a few rats, yeah. you know that kind of thing. But because it's antibacterial and like fungusy fighting, <laughs> science term. Um, science. <laughs> it's, it's, the, uh, science. it's the idea that it gets rid of acne, but it it just doesn't. It just dries you the hell out. I am guilty. I've repented. Oh. I've been forgiven. Oh. I used toothpaste once in the past and I remember it just dried out my pimple so much. Not to where it helped it, to where it felt more irritated red. I feel like it honestly made it the healing time longer than yes. if I wouldn't have put the toothpaste on at all. Which is why I was so confused yeah. that this trick or trend was kind of taking off. And even on yeah. the you know antibacterial side, I don't necessarily think that they're putting the toothpaste in the box thinking like, oh, well, the antibacterial <laughs> components will help to fight against any fungus and bacteria Definitely growth within not. this. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. no, I don't think, I don't think that's the case at all. <laughs> Do you know what bothers me? And I think this what? is something that's throughout all these hacks is that why can't they just put a spot treatment on? What, what part of them wants to go to their kitchen to get some sugar or salt, some toothpaste, mix it all up, make a kit with like little toothbrush holders and then a put it on their spot rather than just going to the drawer and getting a spot treatment now that's for exactly. for their face and isn't gonna dry you out. Exactly, that is one thing I do not understand about DIY. The mm -hmm. fact that people will spend so much more time, energy, and usually money buying all of the individual things necessary to make something like that, instead of yeah. just going out and buying an actually effective, like created in a lab, chemist and dermatologist approved formula that is gonna be best for mm -hmm. getting rid of the acne spot. I can understand like DIY, like if you have like some extra like wooden boards laying around and some paint and you're like oh like i'll make something but with skincare i'm like <laughs> yeah. why 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 you wouldn't diy your own medical treatment why are you diying your own skincare treatment i don't exactly. understand i'm so oh, glad you're already this pissed off like this is exactly <laughs> oh, what i want that, no that is really bad <laughs> these videos now they're gonna take a bit of a dive to not so bad okay. and then the final one is just gonna like you're just gonna want to rip your skin off Aw oh, man, oh, I have beautiful. blackheads on my nose again. Is this a curse? Don't get upset. So Use drawn this on helpful blackheads. and effective life hack. <laughs> get me. Apply micellar water <laughs> onto the top of the Oh my lord. That's reaching right there. Yeah. Then blow on it. You get some foam. <laughs> so what weird. the fuck? Wow, that's micellar magic. Micellar Apply magic. Apply the foam mask onto yeah. your face and your blackheads will quickly go away. Amazing! It's a mini foam party. It really worked! Wait, how does... Wait, what does that have to do with blackheads? I'm so good. <laughs> I don't know how that addresses blackheads at all. This is, there's no reason why that would ever get rid of blackheads. Like yeah. that just doesn't make sense. My cellar water doesn't even treat blackheads. <laughs> I feel like the term blackheads needs a whole re-education mm. overhaul because a lot of people do not realize what blackheads Actually, are. Actually uh, yeah. are, Blackheads, you know, are found like deeper within the pores, you know, are usually require like more intensive treatments to get mm. rid of as opposed to just like a standard cleanser. But even comparing it to sebaceous filaments, which is usually what people are referring to, sebum and oil that's built up at the top of the skin, you know, the top of the pore that you can get the satisfying reaction of like pulling the mask yeah. off of. I don't even know how that treats heads. that either. Like, <laughs> I'm it so confused Do you right have now. Micellar water. Yeah. Should we give it a go? <laughs> I'm down <laughs> to try. Let's do this shit. I'm ready. Okay, so I'm you prepped. soak it. So I'm gonna be using the Bioderma Sensibio. I don't know what it is. It's um, keep cool something something. Okay. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It worked it though! Worked. It actually oh worked! Oh my gosh, and literally got like everywhere. Okay, quick, quick, on our nose. A bit went in my mouth actually. Quick. Ready? 
Oh, I can feel it working. Oh, Hiram. the blackheads! I can feel them just pushing to the surface. Oh, that tickles! Oh, oh my gosh, that tickles! Actual blackheads coming out my. Oh, that's horrible! Oh, actually. oh, oh I, I hate that feeling! That. I hate that feeling. <laughs> that's what it is. It's one of those things where it's like it's foaming, so it must be going into oh, your skin my gosh. and getting all the blackheads out. <sighs> if it's tingling, it's working. Thing. <laughs> I can see why that's fun for like pre-teens. Yeah, but... no, that's the thing. I'm just like, sure, fun slumber party trick, but blackheads, sis. Mm. Like, where, where? Mm -mm. Where does it treat blackheads? I honestly wonder how they figured that out. Like, who was so bored during their skincare yeah. routine that they're just like, I'm just going to put my, this on my mouth and just blow as hard as I yeah. can. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, hang on a minute. That's the weirdest <laughs> thing. <laughs> Pushing me to new lengths on my channel. I love it. So here's the thing with Troom Troom is that nothing they do is really that bad. Mm -hmm. It's just more like, wait, what? I'm yeah. Scared. A lot of misinformation. I mean, Troom Troom's killing it. Good for you. Tons of subscribers, mm. you know, work. I also feel like the girls don't actually like each other as well. <laughs> Watch Trim Trim two years down the row unveil like this huge feud that they've been building up, yeah, like character yeah. development through all their videos. <laughs> okay, this next one, um, you've already mentioned how much you hate this. Okay. I mean, okay. let's be fair. I hate most things in the skincare world. Yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. just be honest. Let's not lie. I feel like Nancy. you've you've reacted to something like this before, okay. very recently, but I feel okay, like this cool. combines two things that you dislike a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you hate it so much, I love it. <laughs> oh my God, that was literally like five seconds of torture. But did you not see it said natural face scrub? <laughs> They are literally like yeah. pushing all the I'm buttons to, push to set me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coffee scrub, of course. Cannot stand coffee scrub, like just scrubs mm. in general. If you are going to do a scrub, in my opinion, just please use a sugar scrub. Use something mm. that will break down with water that won't continue to be harsh as you rub it across your face longer and longer with coffee scrubs. They're similar to walnut scrubs. It's like the <sighs> inconsistent, it? like, um, yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have a uniform yeah. shape. Uh, the shape is so inconsistent and it's usually in shards, which can be pushed too deep into the skin and you just don't know when your skin is okay with it and when it's mm. not okay with it and when certain areas of the face are okay and when they're not. There's just so many different factors that point at coffee scrubs being yeah. so bad, let alone the coconut oil, of course. How could it be natural if <laughs> coconut oil isn't included? I swear I to God. Know, right. I mean, at least mm. it is a wash off treatment. If there's True. one thing that I can say is a positive for this, it's a wash off mm. treatment. But my guess is that, <laughs> that they probably went. Hang on, that looked like it hurt you to say something good then. You look like you're in physical pain. <laughs> it did. It did. I'm just like, oh. They probably didn't follow up with an effective cleanser afterwards. It's probably oh, some no. natural, like, lavender essential oil face wash. Gonna not remove the coconut oil and irritate their skin even more. So, <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Oh. Bad, no. but great to watch. <laughs> okay, so this next one is like um, the queen of DIY um, ingredients. <laughs> you already know. But I don't feel like I've seen you react to this particular concoction. And okay. this to me... Um, I'm just gonna let you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> why is lemon always in natural skincare i don't understand why that is like the hero ingredient of the world it boggles it boggles my mind yeah i think it's yeah. the most obviously bad one that you yes. can feel the effects of instantly on your skin. You can feel and see that is bad. Actually, I used lemon on my lips once and I thought it was such a good idea and even talked about it in a video. And really? I made a video, a video reacting to how bad that was. It, it's awful. I reacted to Michelle Phan's old skincare hack videos. Oh, And yeah. she did, and I love her. She's so amazing. But one of them, I think, was like a rice polish. But then at the end, she like <sighs> dipped a lemon into it and then started going across mm -hmm. her face. And I was like... I had never seen it before and I was just so yeah. blown away. This was a painful reminder of that. This is the thing as well, like when we 
talk about physical exfoliators, I know you prefer chemical like I do as mm-hmm. well. It's completely different. Like you say, taking sugar in a formulated product where it's yes. mixed with like water, for example, and it's formulated to be in that. It's a little bit softer and it's not the kind of sugar that's going to scratch open your skin necessarily like plain old sugar on a bit of lemon rubbed over your face would do. But what you're not doing is taking that lemon from your fruit bowl, cutting it in half, then rubbing it all over your face. It's it's very, very different, very different. Yes, exactly. And even as much as I am not a fan of lemon extract in products, I think it is miles ahead of using an actual lemon in your skincare product. Because again, you're putting it in the hands of professionals who know how to formulate products, who are a bit more familiar with what concentrations are best for your skin. And you are just throwing mm-hmm. all of that out of the window, let alone all the potential yeah. irritants like, hello, pesticides, you know, all that kind of stuff that could could be on this the lemon is... affecting your yeah. skin. Like, it just makes no yeah. sense to me. The one argument I've seen is like, obviously they think it's better because it's natural, but like you said, first yeah. of all, how it's farmed is a big issue. Yes. But the one thing that you get with, um, especially fruit and citrus fruits is people are like, mm-hmm. well, isn't it like vitamin C? It's like, Kind of, but not all the time, because it depends yeah. what season the lemon grows in. Like, loads of different factors that, in a lab, they can check on that kind of stuff. Yes. When you just buy it in, like, the supermarket, no one knows what's in that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just completely different. Exactly. Chances are, it's really not going to be effective, and you're only getting the negative and irritating side effects of doing mm. that trick. I've seen so mm. many videos where people are talking about how bad a lemon is for your face. You talk about it all the time in your videos. And all the time, still... all the time. So Hiram, <laughs> this is going to be one of the most confusing skincare routines you have ever seen. It's going to okay. be one of the most um, physically irritating because I feel like you're going to be able to feel what she <sighs> does on your skin, if that makes sense. Okay. 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 Yeah. Prepare that yourself. Ghost effect. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Makeup wipes. Fuck. Susan Yara would be here just like shaking her head already. I know, like, mm-hmm. I know. I actually sometimes go back and look at my videos to see if I got makeup wipes in any of them. <laughs> <laughs> just to I make sure. I'm down, Susan. Okay, yeah. Carolyn Clay. Oh my gosh. A clay mask with the Clarisonic. Holy Is that shit. Not just okay, right the away. Too thing? much, too much. Like, I don't understand why, how she put those two together. Yeah, and she's go. Oh my gosh, and then following up with a washcloth afterwards. It gets worse. <sighs> oh no! What is she doing? I'm not even 100% oh, no. sure what that product was, but it just looks wrong. <laughs> Ready for it to get worse? It, it gets worse. It gets this. worse. Oh my god. Stab me in the fucking heart. <laughs> Why? Why? If you have sensitive skin, skin that's maybe too like rough for your skin. <laughs> drying. I'm sorry, I just love that now she's like, if you have sensitive skin, this might. <laughs> this might not work. Oh. It's not so bad after this, but it still gets a little so bit. First, no. Like to my yes but that was I so bad. Cream, Holy it. shit. Like, my skin would not be that color. It would be like a bright red. No, no, yeah, my skin, you would watch it fall off. Mm, Just... Yeah, it's a fold. <laughs> watch how the moisturizer okay. rubs you know into her skin or doesn't oh rub. Or does. Yeah, because I'm noticing. Why would they so nice? I'm noticing oh, it's not absorbing completely. Mm. No, I don't have any more. Could that because she's really fucking dry? <laughs> yeah. Well, also because she only rinsed off those two masks or whatever the second one was with water. Yeah. Didn't go in with a proper mm. cleanser. So I have no idea how much of that is left in her pores. Preventing oh, she the cleansed with a detox mask, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why? Next, I'm going to use the eye cream. Okay, Belief eye cream. I am actually a fan of this. Yeah, I, I was gonna say fragrant, I so feel, sure how you but feel. I feel like you you like mm. this product, and honestly, like that's probably yeah. the best thing I've seen so far in this routine. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm familiar with that serum. Too many treatments already, and I bet she does this every day, right? I'm pretty sure she said it was her daily routine. Looks nice. Rest in peace to her skin, poor thing. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. There is so much to dissect there. There's so much going on. I could so write a dissertation on. just on mm. that two minute video. <laughs> Whoa. I think individually, those individual products are not bad. Like, I'm a fan no. of the Clarisonic when my skin does need an mm -hmm. extra cleanse. Kaolin clay, love. I think it's a great clay. Used in masks to really pull out impurities and just you know, help to yep. purify the skin. But using a mask with a Clarisonic, huge no. I don't understand like how they were put together in the, in the same... A clay mask is, I feel, so far from a cleanser as far as... Exactly. what you think it's going to do for you, you know? Who told her to use a <laughs> mask with a Clarisonic? Like, I, I just want to talk. Who told her that? Because you are not supposed to put the mask in the cleansing. I'm and trying I'm to, like, like, justify this. Like, Yeah, me too. I'm trying to think what was be. her notion. Let's talk about the toothbrush and the, was it a MAC product? <laughs> I think that's their version of, like, a charcoal scrub. I believe that's what that product was. With a toothbrush after a Clarisonic mm. and a Carolyn mm. mask. Mm. Honestly, this has to be one of the worst skincare routines I've ever seen. What I'm blown away by is that she goes in with the Clarisonic and then follows up with a toothbrush. Because essentially the Clarisonic is an exfoliation, right? It's pretty much a two-in-one yes. cleansing exfoliation. When I had one, I'd use it like you do once or twice a week, mm -hmm. mainly on my nose and forehead as an exfoliation step. I wouldn't yes. use it as part of two exfoliation steps. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nope. There is this misconception in the skincare community that I've seen. And I remember even a sales associate told me once, he was like, oh, it's uh, Clarisonic doesn't exfoliate. And I was like, um, um, chemical exfoliation? No. The manual action of you know, removing dead skin cells from the face. Clarisonic is yeah. absolutely a physical exfoliant. Maybe she is thinking that like, oh, the Clarisonic is for cleansing, the toothbrush is for exfoliating. Uh, Maybe. That would make I'm sense. trying to help her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really trying to give her the benefit of the doubt because I want to believe doubt. that she is not trying to fuck up her skin in the long run. You should go and look at the video. There's a lot of comments that like, this really worked for me and like alcohol worked for me as well. And I was like, <gasps> Sometimes I can come off a little bit harsh when I am reacting to people's skincare routines and critiquing them. But I think the important thing to realize is like the people are putting this content out there in the world. And a lot mm. of people, particularly teenagers, are going to see this and be like, ooh, I should do that to my skin, not realizing all the damage. Usually in me reacting to these, my hope is to be able to hopefully like shift the conversation a little bit to just safety first. Trying to halt as much damage as possible from people following suit. I mean, the only thing she, be, she should be doing with the alcohol is cleaning her Oh, I forgot about the alcohol. Brush. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, oh, sorry, alcohol. I forgot about yeah. the alcohol. What the fuck? What was the percentage, oh. sorry, on it? Too much. It was too much percentage. <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> so it was 91%. I was trying to look like it would make a difference, whatever percentage it was, but it really oh doesn't. It's and just, do you know what? When I was looking at much. that, her skin didn't look the worse either, which is what really gets me. It doesn't yeah. look bad. My skin would lose its mind if that happened. Oh my God, yeah. We're talking like a few months of recovery. <laughs> As for alcohol, it's literally used to sanitize medical instruments. And yeah. in some circumstances, dermatologists or licensed estheticians performing certain types of treatments, isopropyl alcohol can be used to, you know, dissolve the surface layer of oil that has built up on the skin. But at home, that shit needs to stay in your cabinet and not yeah. come out for the skincare routine. It just kind of goes to show that a lot of times the skin is really good at hiding its damage and hiding mm. the sensitivity that it has. And yeah. sometimes it won't show up for a long time. I feel like I really wow. ruined your day. I know, I'm just like, <laughs> she's gonna be in my thoughts all day. Just the poor thing. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that, kind of. Well, that was, you know, that was a enlightening experience. You know, in order to understand the good, you have to understand the bad too. It helps me be be able to know how truly awful it is out there. What exactly is going on in the world? But I have to say, I am really grateful for someone like you constantly contributing to the positive conversation around skincare because it makes me so happy to like search skincare on YouTube and skincare tips and skincare tricks and see that you're one of the first people to come up. Because that's encouraging to me that people are getting the right type of information, the right recommendations, mm. the message of safety first when it comes to skincare. It definitely is a conversation that's needed around skincare, mm. especially when so many people do see like DIY skincare hacks on Instagram and TikTok yeah. in case their skin does fuck up they have you as a resource to turn to. Hopefully it's dying out. 
Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. God. Thank you so much, James, for coming onto my channel. Like, honestly, it's such an honor to have you. And I think it's so cool that I'm able to collaborate with another male in the skincare community or just in yes. the beauty community in general. Like, male representation. Yeah. Woo! We need more of it. And I think, well, I think it's Well, thank you for great. having me. Of course. Mm. Of course. Thanks Please, for having everyone. Me. Like, like I said, it's been... Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry yeah. <laughs> Please everyone go and subscribe to James. He has an awesome channel. If you want like an entire another level of education, he's a great resource for it. So please go follow, Cute. go subscribe. Well, thank you so much for having me. Honestly, like I of said, course. this has been a long time coming. Um, and it's been really nice to have like another male skin, skin enthusiast um, yes. to share this journey with. So thank you yes. for having me as well. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much, James, for filming this video for me. It was a ton of fun. And let me know if you guys want to see this in the future as well. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and subscribe to James Welsh so that you can see more of his content. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.